So let me just quickly show you my uh, translation setup. Uh, it's far from being perfect, but I think it's uh, quite okay, especially if you're working with clients that actually want to uh, do the translations. So what I'm using for that is a um, library called Lingui. Um, so Lingui uh, gives you this uh, macro, which provides you with a T function, so a typical translation function. And then what you would do in React is you would just uh, do what you would expect from a translation library. You just have this T and then you would put in the uh, phrase. So shipping type, for example, this is English. This is uh, the base language. And then <clears throat> what I would do is once I changed any um, any strings, I would uh, then commit those um, updated or new translation piece, I don't know, and then push that. So then I use a tool which is called Po Editor, um, which is pretty nice, especially because it's quite cheap, um, yet very powerful. And you can maintain multiple projects within that. And then what you would do is you would import, and this one is connected to my GitHub branch, and then I would uh, import the English terms. So it's processing and as we, as we can see now, the German ones are not uh, at 100%. So what I can then do is I go to the German ones and then I would just pick the not translated ones and then I can uh, update those. Passwort uh, bestätigen Kontakt Passwort I guess, um, and so forth. <clears throat> so the good thing about this is obviously uh, the client has access to that. So I would, for example, not be the best person to do the French translation, but of course also the wording for German or English uh, might, or might they might want to change. So once the translations are done, um, what I would do is I would export those and then again use um, the GitHub integration, and then I can just select all of them and then export to GitHub. So what this does is actually it does a commit into the specific specified branch. <clears throat> so that's done now. And then heading over to my uh, project, I would do a git pull again, and I see there's new stuff happening here. And then what I need to do is I need to run the Lingui uh, compile step because uh, f for the the basic um, structure Lingui uses, or I use uh, Po editor file format uh, for translations, which is, which is like pretty standard. Um, and then I would compile that into the actual JS files. And then that's all. And I have my new translations in. And when the, the client or anyone else wants to change translations, he does it in the Po editor. And uh, yeah, just lets me know that there's something new and then I can more or less integrate those. Of course, all of that could be in theory also be automated even more with pipelines and so on. I am not doing that because it's not necessary for my use cases. Um, yeah, I hope you got something out of that, some inspiration how you could do translations pretty easily also in the context of client projects.